Uh, well, first of all, like I was just asking Lamar, you guys now have a game under your belt, a win, thankfully. Uh, how much does it help to just have that actual regular season experience and to have gotten off on the right foot? This yeah, season? It's, it's huge. Uh, opening the, the season with a win in front of our fans in a packed house was huge for our confidence and uh, big, big for the city as well. So hopefully we can keep getting that support every week throughout the season. And first road trip coming up, um, you know, for some of these guys, weren't even around a couple of weeks ago for the short El Paso trip. So uh, are, are you and the team sort of looking forward to this bonding opportunity? You've only got each other to lean on, you know, all that? Yeah, I mean, it's of course a bonding opportunity, spending time in the airports and hotels, but it's really about getting three points and that's the best bonding you can ask for is getting a win and having a good performance to lead into the big game against Colorado. And you guys were really good on the road uh, last year. Um, what are maybe some ways that you guys think you can replicate that and maybe even improve on your road form this season? Yeah, well, I mean, all we can do is control what we can control. It's our mentality, our attitude, our, our game prep, and, you know, we're going to do that to the best of our ability. And then, you know, it's up to us as players to go out and perform. So last year we performed and, you know, I'm expecting nothing less from the guys this year. And like we were saying, it suddenly got cold here after a few weeks of nice weather. But uh, in a sense, are you kind of glad about that because it'll get you ready for the colder weather in, you know, Virginia on Sunday, high of 42. Yeah, no, for sure. My uncle lives in Maryland, so he was telling me it was, it was in the 40s and windy. So it definitely is good prep. Um, you know, it won't be cold for much longer. So it's good that we have, have this game in the cold and that it's colder here in San Antonio as well. Since you mentioned your uncle, is he going to you know, stop by the game or anything? Yeah, of course. <laughs> How, what, what does it do for you when you've got, you know, him or I know your mom has come down here a few times. What does it add to the games when you know after the final whistle you can see family and all that again? Yeah, it's obviously great seeing my family. They make a couple trips down. They're going to come to the game in Loudoun and again in uh, Charleston later on. But, you know, they've done so much for me my whole entire life. And so for them to see me play professionally and, you know, th throughout all these places in the league, it, it, it's great for me. One of the things you guys constantly talk about is monster, monster mentality. Can you talk to me about how that, do you guys continue to implement that this season? Yeah, it's about being relentless in our preparation, our cohesion with the, the team principals and everyone being on the same page. And, you know, we have to live through that monster mentality every day and uh, on and off the field. And that's, you know, why we're, we call ourselves the mentality monsters. We don't waver and, you know, we control what we can control and that's all we can do. So if we have that mentality, then the rest will fall into place. You guys uh, knocked out the first game, got the W, and now going for your second. What's the chemistry like in the team? I mean, it's kind of new, kind of not new. Some of you guys came back, so tell me a little bit about that chemistry. Yeah, no, it's great having, I think it was eight of 11 starters from the final and, and from from last year, and then adding the new guys, adding some good good pieces like Lamar and Ja'Cory, and uh, they fit in real well. You know, like they, they haven't missed a beat either, so the, they've been great fits, and the coaches have done a great job scouting and bringing in the right guys for us. And a lot has been made of the returning guys, but the stars of the game seem like to be the new guys for yeah. that first game. How cool is it to finally see them actually be on the field? Because it's one thing being in practice and working together, but seeing it all come together like that in the first game, how did that feel? Yeah, man, it was amazing. Um, you know, I, I want everyone to score goals and for Lamar to, you know, just sign a couple days earlier and then to have that outstanding performance, something I've never seen at any level from a center back on their debut. To score two goals like that was huge for his confidence going into this next game. And, and I, I just think that was so important for him, uh, you know, to get get on the horse and get on the same page as us. So it was great, great all around for the new guys. You had a message for everybody at the end of the game saying the champs are back, baby. Now, there was a lot of a lot of doubters last season, even when you guys were breaking records, man. Do you guys still have that chip on your shoulder from last season? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, now now it's a little different. We have the target on our back, but that doesn't change our mentality. We say mentality monsters, and that's if we're winning, if we're losing, and that's why we've been so consistent and trending in the right direction. So, yeah, I mean, we've still got that chip on our shoulder. We want more championships. We want more rings, and, you know, we want the fans to, to come and see us play and put on a good show for them. So it's just, you know, business as usual. Building off of new guys and the team chemistry, um, you know, you guys obviously had the best defense last year, and yet, you know, Lamar comes in, uh, uh, Zico signed yesterday. You know, you somehow have now shifted onto the right side of defense. Uh, how do these changes feel? Uh, is it a little weird, or do you feel like in the long run it might end up being, you know? just as good as if not better yeah no i mean you just got to take it game by game and you know the new guys are real versatile they you know they're overcompensating for some some other parts in the field when we, when we need it and they're they're doing exactly what we need them to do and yeah i mean i'm thankful i can play on both sides of the ball so for me it's just the same as last year just just on the right side right now